Hi everybody, Charlie Rafferty here. Many of you know me as Rafferty the Piper from Renaissance festivals all across the country. Others simply know me as Charlie, player of many instruments. I'm coming to you here today to ask for your help in bringing a new recording to life. What's taking you so long? Many of you are no doubt asking. The short, simple answer is money. More specifically, I want this recording to be the very best that I have ever made. And to that end, I have hired a professional recording studio, producer, and engineer. And this takes money, a fair bit of it. Enter crowdfunding and social media, which in this day and age has turned dreams into reality for many artists. You too can make my career-long dream of a professionally produced recording possible with your pledge of support, which will also get you a digital download, a copy of the CD, and other rewards as well. So just what is on this long-awaited recording project? If you've heard me play or have any of my previous CDs, you know that I'm primarily a Celtic musician, playing Irish inland pipes, Scottish highland pipes, whistle, flute, and singing Irish ballads and pub songs self-accompanied with guitar. In the past half a dozen years or so, I have broadened my musical palette to include the next logical step, playing American roots music, mainly from Appalachia, where Celtic music met the banjo and the blue note and birthed a style of music once familiar and entirely new. This recording, entitled Across the Mountains, Across the Sea, will explore the common ground shared by Celtic and American roots music by way of selection of songs and tunes that are common to or influenced by both genres, as well as a couple that stand alone on their respective shores. While performing at the Tennessee Renaissance Festival in 2014, I purchased an F-style mandolin at Corner Music in Nashville. Man, I thought learning how to play the bagpipes was tough. But in the intervening time, I've managed to get the mandolin under my fingers, and it will be featured on this recording. My guitar playing has gotten, well, a little bit more bluegrassy too. No more just bonking out chords. Now there's hammer-ons, pull-offs, and even a run or two. A big part of the impetus for this shift in my music was becoming part of the then budding and now burgeoning bluegrass and Americana music scene here in my hometown of Taos, New Mexico. It was here at our weekly bluegrass jam that I met Peter Oviatt of Moonflower Sounds, who is recording, producing, and engineering this project. Also met uh, Mike West of Ninth Ward Pick and Parlor, who will be doing the master. In addition to his great sensibilities for engineering and production, Peter will also be adding his considerable banjo chops, as well as some mighty fine upright bass playing. My longtime friend, Michael Mandrell, joins me for an Irish tune, and a strong possibility exists of a few other pickers from our Taos Bluegrass community coming along for the ride. I've selected all the songs and tunes to be included, and I've begun recording close to half of the material already, and I'm moving forward with tracking the rest this winter and into early spring, by which time I look to be finished with recording and moving on to mastering, album art, and CD duplication. And with your help, having all of this fully funded by way of your support here on Kickstarter. So that's my story. I'm working to craft a collection of timeless songs and tunes that I believe in, and that I believe you will too once you hear them for yourselves. I look forward to hearing from you all soon with your contributions and any questions you may have about the project. Thank you very much for your time here and your help.